I'm going to try to blow by blow help you guys mod Elden Ring the easiest way possible. Starting out with something simple like trying to alter um, the size of something. Uh, just give you a basic idea of how to use the tools. And I'm going to make these videos short intentionally so that I can cover more specific details that you might be looking for in a video. So that you're not looking through videos that are 20 minutes long trying to find just one thing that clarifies something um, and in this video we're going to talk about what programs you need to download and it's it's a lot like trust me it, it's i know it's fucking hell and if you don't think you can handle having eight programs just to make the size of this lightsaber longer or this penis thicker then it just might not be for you it, and don't get me wrong most games aren't this complicated a mod but this game is a bitch I'm going to assume that your experience here already is you know how to put a mod into a game. If you don't know how to put a mod into a game, you shouldn't be at this step yet. So first things first, you're going to want to make a folder. Um, and it could be a folder that you already have Mod Engine 2 put into. But let's pretend you accidentally deleted Mod Engine 2. We're going to start a fresh folder. Name it whatever the fuck you want to name it, mod tools, something that'll grab your attention in the background of your desktop. Open up a browser and you're going to obviously download Mod Engine 2.0. Now there are multiple mod engines, like there's a mod loader. Um, just trust me, Mod Engine 2 is the way to go. You don't have to do anything weird like finding ways to disable anti cheat. Mod Engine 2.0 has its own. Uh, just anti-cheat disabler. As long as you have Steam open and you click the Mod Engine 2 launcher for Elden Ring, you're good. Mods will work. You don't have to worry about being banned. All right, and they'll automatically all the mods are disabled if you want to play online and you click the Steam launcher version. All right, just make that clear. Uh, anyway, so. Make sure you click the release versions. I didn't realize that till here lately. Um, and another thing that you're going to want to find is BB Tool. BB Tool is a bitch to find, and I'm going to show you exactly where to go to find it. It is not Zentax. It will have the exact same page as the correct place, but I there's just not a download link on this page. And you're going to spend a lot of frustrating time trying to find it. It's just, yeah, I've clicked. It's just not here. Zen Hacks is the place you're actually going to find it. It's literally identical to the page you were just at, except that it's a different website. And you scroll down, and you're going to see this guy's link right here, and that will let you download it properly. Just unzip it in that tool folder and organize it the way you need to. Another tool that we're going to need is Blender, naturally. And yeah, I tried to find a workaround for this, but you will need Blender. I'm just going to assume you know how to download. All right, so download it, find the EXE. Uh, we'll talk about how to open it properly later. The next program is not Fiverr, it's Fliver. <laughs> you're going to click the release version, and you're going to click uh, this thing, download it, and unpack it. You should know at this point how to do that. The other thing we're going to need is paint.net. Do not type paint.net. You're going to have to like paint, space, net, download, and then you'll have this. This is for textures. Um, you'll need that for textures later on. I'm going to name the other one flavor just because it's easier to say. But you'll need flavor for looking at your models right before they go into the game. Another one you'll need is UXM. It doesn't matter that it's on DS3 or whatever. It's UXIP. It is what it is. You're going to go ahead and download it. Um, this will be what you use to completely unpack things. Another one you need is Yabber. Um, this is also a different type of unpacking. Trust me, it'll all make sense in the next video when I kind of describe how to use each of these. So after you get the resource and get the zip file, um, you'll need Yapper. Yeah, it's ridiculous. 
All right, I I totally understand your frustration at this point. I like I'm dead ass. If you're not motivated to do this, just stop now. It, it's a headache after this. But you're gonna have all of it in your in your little file folder thing here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Um, uh, let me make it a little bit wider. I just want this more organized for you guys to see it because I know how hard it is to see people's files on their computer screen. But over here, I have the mod engine. It's just got all my mods. Um, you know, you just put everything in the mod folder, not the mod engine two folder, all right? The mod folder. And then we, I have two buffer folders. One is actually just to hold all the redundant files that I'm most likely not gonna use, but just in case I do, I'll keep them there. This one's just completely empty. I got the Bloodborne one, the, it's BB tools. This one is one I'm currently working on, so don't worry about it. I got the paint one, which is extra. I already have the paint exe, so I'm gonna put that in there. I already have Yabber open. So you're gonna want Blender, and you can find ER base female bodies and male bodies. Um, I don't know, I just got it off someone's Discord. This is Flavor, um, then Paint, and then UXM, Yabber, and Yapper. All right, so let's move on to the next video.